All right, in this VTM here, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at volumes. Volumes can be a really important aspect in the whole level creation process, wouldn't you say, Logan? Definitely. So, first of all, what exactly is a volume? Well, a volume is simply a brush-defined area that is aware of when a player is in it. Okay. Also aware when a player enters and exits it as well. Yes. And we can use these volumes for, well, a bunch of different things. Everything from blocking to defining an area that's going to give damage or give uh, a different environmental type feel like low gravity, real high gravity. Uh, we can adjust terminal velocity. There's a lot of different things that we can do with volumes. Now, we've got a very simple level set up here that's going to demonstrate several of these. So, Logan, if you'd like to real quick, let's just go ahead and jump into the level and show them what we're going to be covering in this VTM. For uh, just starting off, the yeah. first volume I've got set up is just a basic volume around this cube. No, ex no extra um, like special effects applied to the player. However, if I bring up the scoreboard, I've got this map set to be a capture the flag map, so I can see my location. Right now it says unknown. As soon as I enter the cube, it says in the cube. So I'm simply using a volume to define this as a separate area, so I can keep track of a player, myself or other teammates. Okay. So moving on from that, we've got a general physics volume. And I've got that set up on the other side of the level, where we're actually modifying the environment. If I walk into it, if I let go of the forward movement key, I continue to slide. So That's kind of like you're walking on ice or something. Exactly. So if you want to define an area of ice, you just make a, a, a very thin uh, volume across it and then turn the friction down. Also, I have the gravity tweaked in this area. As a matter of fact, I've got the X gravity set very high. And in effect, it almost makes a wall of gravity. So if I try to fire a grenade into it, the <laughs> grenade kind of bounces off. <laughs> Launches it itself the other way. Around. And of course, it's not affecting you at the moment because you haven't like jumped or you're not right, falling. Because my physics type is, is technically it's walking now. I'm not being affected by forces or air or anything. So if I jump, Chink. well, yeah, then it takes effect. Yeah, exactly. Then you've been launched. So we'll look at that. We'll also look in that area. We'll play around with terminal velocity as well. In other words, we can set exactly how fast you're allowed to fall. And uh, if you want to go ahead and show them, as a matter of fact, the teleporter where we're going to use to get into that area. Basically, I've got this upper area where we can teleport to somewhere very high off the ground. And, of course, and it gets thrown to the other side. But we're going to show you how we can set it up and adjust the terminal velocity so you'll slow down and land nice and lightly. And, of course, we've got some other things as well that we can look at. When we start getting into liquids, uh, we've got uh, a pool of water right here. We've got some slime, and we've got some lava. And, of course, when you jump down in them, we want to make sure that the appropriate things happen, the way it looks, the fog-type effect, the, you know, your swimming, or if there's going to be any pain involved. So we can jump out here, and you can see if we come over here. Now we're dealing with some pain, and we're dead. And same thing's going to happen over here. Okay, so we've got a few different, different things to look at, but by the end of this VTM, you should have an idea of how to use these. Right, and we'll be covering uh, a few other things. That's just the basics. Yeah, that's just the basics, a quick overview. All right, so with that, that's going to wrap up the intro, and let's get busy with building some simple blocking volumes.